This is an Action Cam Flicks tutorial. How to prepare and upload your 360 degree video to YouTube. This tutorial is for the VSN Mobile V360 Panorama Camera. I'm going to demonstrate how to do this in Final Cut Pro 10. You'll learn how to export your video and add the proper metadata so that your video plays properly on YouTube. The dimensions of the video that come out of the camera are 3240 by 2160. The YouTube Panorama Player does not recognize this video format and it won't stitch the video into a panorama. You must first convert this into a panorama before you load it to YouTube. Your camera is actually recording at a native resolution of 6480 by 1080, but the video files out of the camera are stacked, so you need to convert the video so it looks more like this. The 6480 pixels wide panorama must conform to the 4K standard, so it needs to fit in an area 3840 by 2160 pixels. Because the camera shoots at a 60 degree field of view, you're going to see some letterbox effect. When the video is shrunk down from the 6840 pixels, this letterbox effect is unavoidable. I'm doing this demo in Final Cut Pro 10, but you could use something like Premiere or Sony Vegas. Doing this in post-production, you get a much better quality video than the VSN mobile app. We're going to unstack the video by cropping it in Final Cut Pro 10. We're going to resize the clips and match them so that they fit within a 4K format. Okay, let's get started. In Final Cut Pro 10, add a stack clip to your timeline. Next, you want to duplicate the clip in the timeline with a copy above the original. You could do this with the Option Drag Keyboard command on your Mac. Now select the top layer and the Crop tool as shown here. With the Crop tool, crop the top section of the stacked video. Now select the bottom layer and the crop tool. You repeat the process in the second layer, except you're now cropping the bottom of the stack video. Next, in each layer we will scale and position each clip using the inspector. The top layer will create the left side of the panorama, and the bottom layer will create the right side of the panorama. So go to the top layer, and in the inspector set your scale and position. Set the left scale for 59.25% or 59.3%. You will need to experiment to get it right. And your position settings are 960 for X and 320 for Y. Now go to the bottom layer and do the right side of the panorama. You will set the scale at 59.25% or at 59.3%. For position, set X at minus 960 and Y at minus 320. If you have difficulty aligning your images, you can use a third-party plugin. This is Ripple Tool Guides from Ripple Tools. It provides you with guides to help center your images. When you're done, your viewers should look like this. Now you want to export your video in 4K format. When you drag your first clip into the timeline, it should automatically conform to 4K. But check before you export the video. Go to your inspector window, hit Info, and then Command J. There you'll see a Modify Settings box, and if you click on that, you will see a pop-up that looks like this. You will need to export your video as an MP4 file. This is a Final Cut screen capture of the export setting you want to use. Your final video should have the M4V extension. You've created your MP4 file, but you're not done yet. You need to add some metadata before you upload it to YouTube. Go to the Google support page I show here. I'll also put a link in the video description in case it changes. You need to now find and download the Metadata app. This is a free app that injects the metadata so that it plays in 360 mode. Install the app, find your M4V file, rename it, and save. Now your file is ready. All you need to do is upload your video as normal to YouTube. There is a catch. 360 mode works in Chrome, 
but not on Safari. So to watch your video in 360 mode, you must use the Chrome browser. In the Chrome browser, you will see this 360 toggle in the left side of the screen. In Safari, the same video just looks like a flat panorama. 360 mode will work with the Chrome browser for your Mac, but it won't work with the Chrome browser for your iPhone or iPad. Additional devices will be supported, but no timeline has been released. 360 mode was also tested on Android devices, and it works on some but not others. The issue could be varying versions of Android or the processor speed. Because the camera field of view is very narrow, you're going to see a lot of distortion. Currently, there is no way to zoom in and out of the video using the YouTube player. Also visible is the black band from the letterbox. So what you could do is utilize that black band and put a title or some additional text in there. I have a good example of that in my ducks video. If you found this tutorial helpful, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Action Cam Flicks.